That man is not breaking the law. How is that possible, Colleen? I couldn't believe this uh, when I read it and when I saw that footage because instantly I thought, well, they've got it on CCTV, yeah. they'll mm -hmm. catch him, you know, there's got to be some law against it. But when they came out and said, well, actually, he hasn't broken the law, I just don't understand the law. I mean, we have a law where we can't take pictures of our own children mm -hmm. and yet a stranger can come up behind you in a supermarket and take a picture like that, mm. and um, it just doesn't it just doesn't make I mean, he's, sense. He's, and he knew he was doing yeah, wrong. The fact is, he liked her. it. So yeah. she, I mean, it's just <coughs> apparently he followed her into scary. the store as well. Mm -hmm. He'd seen her out. He'd seen her outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just. I, th horrible. I think what um, what upsets me about it is the fact that you know they're saying I understand that it's the law. I understand that, but sometimes things happen, and you have to reevaluate things and. Everyone owns a camera phone, and I'm, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking in terms of my daughters. So in ten years' time, something like this happens. Mm. Um, you know, are, are they going to be adjusting what they wear? You know, they, they, it's a hot summer's day. They're not. Mm. They, they don't feel free to wear a pair of shorts because everyone knows I can take a picture of your bum. Now, yeah. to me, surely that is a violation of, of your human rights. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's as serious as that. And I just think, how on earth can someone taking a, that kind of picture as well without someone's consent mm. be okayed? The, the law clearly has to change. It's made her feel incredibly uncomfortable. She yeah. made a complaint. She went to the police and she's the one who suffered. And, you know, if, if she had turned around and hit him in the face or something, she, she would have yeah. So it's nonsense. Um, the, this is a response from the man who took the, the picture. His name is Carl Leggett. He told the Sun newspaper that he's just a normal bloke, not a paedophile who's going around raping. This is quotes, but well, this is what he actually said. He said he was sorry for what he did, but added, it's a fuss about nothing. It looks a lot, it looks a lot worse than what it was. I, I'm, I'm sure if we got a, got a quote from the woman about how that made her feel and how the, you know, the impact that that mm. has had on her, even the impact it might have on us watching that. Yeah. I wonder how he'd feel, feel so if some guy had done that to his sister or his mum. Well. It's just what I was going to say, <laughs> you know, Would he think then, yes. oh, it was only a laugh? Exactly. Who yeah. well, came home crying? Yeah. Um, what would you do, Janet, if somebody did Well, that if to I was you? the supermarket owner, I'd blow up the picture of him really big and I'd put it in the window yeah. and I'd <laughs> say, this man... Yeah. Has got <laughs> and he's back. Just put bangs right yeah. across the photo. But I expect allowed. you'll find that shaming, naming yeah. shaming, we're not allowed to do that either. Ridiculous. Mm. Um, just, just to uh, clear up as well, a lot of you might be thinking, well, why wasn't it, why wasn't it a crime? The statement from St Austell Police about why they didn't press charges. Uh, the man handed himself in to the police at St Austell. He was given strong words of advice about his inappropriate behaviour but wasn't arrested, as upon careful consideration of a number of different offences, which are all the ones that sprung to our minds, including stalking, sexual offences, public nuisance and public decency, his actions were not considered to amount to a criminal offence. The woman was understandably upset by the incident, but understood that the police action was taken. I mean, the only action was taken was he was giving a stern telling off. And his quote to the son seems to indicate he's not the slightest bit sorry. A bit bothered by it.